Hello everyone. So today I will be explaining how to classify the quality of red wine. The data set has been obtained from the UCI repository and I will be using two means of classification which is logistic regression and random forest classification. So I will start off by importing the necessary modules that we need. So we will need pandas, seaborn and for visualization matplotlib. Uh, sklearn uh, will be required for random forest classifier logistic regression to get a few metrics like confusion metrics, classification report and accuracy score. We will also need standard scalar for standardization and label encoder for encoding. We also need uh, it for training and testing data split and cross validation score. The warnings uh, module has been imported to ignore any warnings that will be generated. Shift enter. So all the modules have been imported. Now I will import the data set. The data set is wine quality red and I will use pandas to import it as df. So df is equal to pd.read underscore csv and the name of the file. Now I have imported the data set. I will use the dot head attribute in order to see the data set. So this is how the data set looks. Now using the dot info attribute, I will get a concise summary of the data frame. So this is how the data set uh, is. It has, uh, it shows the columns and whatever is the null values in the data frame. Here we do not have any null values. And it also shows the data types. Now I will visualize the relationship between quality and the other columns using subplot and each of the plot will be a bar plot. So first I will set the figure size as 170 and also the font scale to 5. So there will be 9 subplots and the first integer here in the dot subplot attribute will be the number of rows and the second integer will be the number of columns. And the third integer will represent the position of the plot when counted from left to right in a top-down fashion. Uh, I will name each of the plots. And since each of them is a bar plot, I will use Seaborn. And the X axis will contain the quality and the Y axis will contain the different columns. And the data that we are using will be DF, the data frame containing details of the wine. So this is how the subplot uh, is visualized. So each of them has a heading and now I will categorize the quality into two using bins. Now I will divide the quality from 2 to 6.5 and 6.5 to 8. Uh, the classes will be bad and good, 2 to 6.5 being bad and 6.5 to 8 being good. Cut is used to create segments and sort values into bins. The attribute is also useful for going from a continuous variable to a categorical variable. So now they have been categorized into two bins which are bad and good. I will encode these classes using label encoder. Now using dot fit underscore transform, I will change the quality column with the encoded categories representing bad as zero and one being a good quality of wine. I will visualize the count of each quality using Seaborn count plot. So I have used Seaborn for visualization and zero indicates bad quality of wine and one indicates good quality of wine. Now I'll see how the data frame uh, looks like. So as we can see, the quality uh, has been changed into zero and one uh, compared to the previous where there were various numbers. This will create two data frames. X will be the original data frame with the target variable quality being removed and Y will contain the series DF quality. Now I will split the data to both testing and training data set with test size being 20% and then I will standardize the data. The data has been split and now I will do standardization. The classification will be done using logistic regression and random forest classifier. So I will explain a bit about it. Logistic regression is a machine learning algorithm which is used for classification problems. And it is a predictive analysis algorithm based on the concept 
of probability. Now this is a sigmoid function uh, which is equal to 1 by 1 plus exponential of minus z. It uses a complex cos function which is the sigmoid function and this is also known as the logistic function. In order to map predicted values to probability, this function is being used and the function maps any real value into another value between 0 and 1. In machine learning, we use sigmoid to map predictions to probabilities. So now we expect a classifier to give us a set of outputs or classes based on the probability when we pass the inputs through the prediction function and uses a probability score between 0 and 1. There is a threshold value and anything below it will belong to one class and anything above it will belong to another class. So this is all about logistic regression. Now I'll explain random forest classification. Random forest is a classification algorithm consisting of many decision trees. It uses feature randomness and bagging when building each individual tree to create a forest of trees which are uncorrelated. So the features would not have any correlation and each of them are represented by trees. And the prediction as a group of trees will be more accurate than an individual tree. So this is what happens in random forest classifier. So now I will use both of these means in order to classify the quality of wine as good and bad. I will instantiate RF as random forest classifier with the number of trees being 100. And I will use this to fit our training set and the target variable of the training data set. And I will predict this for the testing data set. Now I will calculate an accuracy score with the target variable and also with the predicted target variable using random forest classifier. So accuracy score takes two arguments and the first one will be the true value of the target variable and the second argument will be the predicted value of the target variable. Now I will print prediction accuracy of random forest classifier. It comes out to be 90%. I will visualize this using a confusion matrix. Confusion matrix also takes two arguments, which is the true value of the target variable and the predicted value. The visualization is done using a heat map. I will set the annotation as true so that it can show the value of true positives, false positives, true negatives and false negatives. I will set the X label to be the predicted value and the Y label to be the true value. Now this is how the heat map looks with the confusion metrics. So uh, I will explain a bit about confusion metrics. Uh, it has four components which is true positive and it means that positive has been predicted and it has come to be true. True negative means that the prediction is negative and it is true. False positive means the prediction is positive but it's false. And false negative means that the prediction is negative and it is false. False positive is type 1 error and false negative is a type 2 error. So this represents true negative and this represents true positive. Now I will use logistic regression. So LR is being instantiated to logistic regression in order to fit our training data set and the target variable of the training data set. Now I will use this logistic regression in order to predict the target variable for the testing data set and then I will use confusion metrics and a heat map to visualize it and I will also predict the accuracy score of it. So this is the confusion metrics and the accuracy score of logistic regression has come to be 88.75. Here a random forest classifier has a better score and we will use this in order to predict the quality of wine.